I live here now. Oh goodness, you're so close. You're so close. <laughs> hey, you got a quick one for you today, guys. Some 3D printing. This is a frame for an upcoming project to be announced. And to hold this aluminum tube to this aluminum bar, I figured I'd 3D print a part. So I designed this thing all up in Fusion 360. I've got these uh, clamping parts here for some, with some screws to hold the tube. And then on the bar, I have something similar. So you just tighten these down and they're nice and snug. Uh, so the first thing I tried was this uh, abomination. <laughs> I tried printing in uh, high impact polystyrene. It was my first time trying that and I accidentally loaded the wrong profile, the wrong printer profile. So it's kind of, kind of split apart a bit. So this is a little bit of a fail on my part. Uh, but I learned something. So I printed the piece all in one go and the layer lines you can see are running uh, at a diagonal, but, but uh, on the front here for clamping, it's fine. But on the back, the lines run along the stress point here. And when I clamped it down, this part broke right off. Now, if these layers had laminated better, maybe that would have been fine, but I figured that it would be better if the layer lines were oriented this way for the tube part and this way for the bar part. So I took my 3D model and I split it into two pieces and printed them in different orientations. So this one was printed like that, this one was printed like that and then the two pieces locked together like so. It turns out that by printing it in two pieces I actually saved myself a bunch of headache. See this part right here can't slide on around these bends here. It just has to be opened up like this, just use a screwdriver, to then slide it on top of the bar. And opening it would be impossible <laughs> with this on here. This would prevent it from opening, you can see it doesn't want to go at all and I would just end up breaking it. So uh, this is the final piece here. I ended up doing another test in PLA that worked out fine. So this is my spare in case I break it. But the final one I did in nylon. I've got some Ultimaker nylon. I printed this on the Ultimaker. And a uh, quick side note, I did a test on the Ultimaker. I, I sliced it in Simplify 3D using some nylon settings. And this turned out not great. It's really mushy and it, the layers didn't laminate. So I printed it in Cura, just using their normal nylon settings, and that worked awesome. So Cura, Ultimaker, nylon, and it's the Ultimaker nylon, and it came out perfect. This is damn near bulletproof. So anyway, uh, these parts can slide apart here and clamp down, and I'll probably, once I'm sure that this whole thing is good to go, glue these together and they're fine. I may not even need to do that. I may just zip tie this together so that I can take this apart for travel. I don't know yet. We'll figure that out in a little bit. But uh, there you go, a little bit of 3D printing prototyping, um, some ideas on uh, making mechanical parts, and uh, just showing how important it is that you orient your print in the correct direction, especially when structural integrity is paramount. Um, that's it, that's all I have for you guys today. If you're looking to get into this type of 3D modeling, check out the tutorial videos that Fusion 360 has over on their website, I'll have a link down below. Dive right into those, learn the interface and get going. You could th uh, 3D model parts like this in no time flat. This took me maybe 20 minutes. That's all I have for you today, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next build. We think he's in here. Oh yeah, there he is. Hold on. Got him. Yeah, lift it up anymore. Silly bird, friend, let go. Oh. Let go. <laughs> Be free! Be free! Wait, hold on. Just turn it around. I live here now! Oh goodness, you're so close. You're so close. He's <laughs> coming right for me. Where is he? He's up here. I live here now! You got this! Oh, you're so close! Yes! 
Well, that was fun.